have a drought monitor up for central New York. Yep, and the new one comes out today mm -hmm. late morning towards the noon show. So tune in on NBC, uh, CBS 5 this midday, and I'll give you the latest on that. And I want to be honest with everyone. This is not under my control. The latest drought monitor was given last Thursday. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's as of two days before that. So it was Tuesday, 11-5, November 5th. You know, that's nine days ago. So I think this is a little bit outdated. We may see this moderate drought in the brown in Shenango and parts of Otsego County expand into other parts of central New York. The n bad thing is, is I don't think we're going to see much rainfall right through the weekend for a lot of that area. While they're not seeing a drought in portions of western New York, that's where they actually could get some rain. And the worst of the conditions, Ohio, Pennsylvania, into New Jersey. And, of course, you got that fire on the border of New York and New Jersey. Right through 7 a.m. on Sunday, Zippo, the rainfall there where it's, uh, you know, bad, the brush fires down here. Likely nothing here in central New York. Western New York gets just some light rain with heavier rain, the Ohio River Valley, down off the east coast. We are going to see a dry and warming weekend. Yesterday, 47 was a little bit below the normal high of 49. We're just above it, and then we go well above it. So it's rather mild by Sunday and Monday. Taking a look at that next weather maker that just brushes us with cloud cover for today and tonight, and maybe in the western and southern Finger Lakes, a little bit of light rain or sprinkles that maybe doesn't even add up. There it is, the low that's going to be dropping to the southeast. So this warm front, which is around the Pittsburgh and Erie area, it's not going to come through central New York. So our winds will be out of the east, southeast, and then they're going to go back around to the north. And that's why we're not going to get into the mildest of the air as well. But fairly nice, although there's a breeze today. It's 5 to 10, gust to 20 miles per hour as we go through, especially the afternoon so it'll make it feel a little cooler and it's not as sunny as what we had yesterday but technically three degrees warmer will get up to about 50 degrees but it's turning overcast by the later portions of the afternoon rain nearing us in the finger lakes but likely in onondaga and the surrounding counties we're going to be dry a little bit more sun towards the north country and the canadian border now those clouds start to erode again as that low pulls away to the south and southwest so we're breaking out into some more sunshine lower 50s for tomorrow and a little less wind as we go into Saturday. The wind could pick up a little bit, but we're going to see brilliant sunshine. It's going to be a nice day coming up with increasing clouds on Sunday, but still dry. It's not till Monday that we get any rain in here. So we're seeing temperatures near seasonal levels. You know, fairly pleasant in the afternoon here, a little chilly at night. And then over the weekend is where it starts to turn rather mild. So maybe a good weekend to put up the holiday decorations. You do see the pick day of the week is actually on Saturday. Even with that breeze, we're going to find lots of sunshine. We'll go from a mix of sun and clouds to mostly cloudy on Sunday, but still dry. Then it's mainly overcast morning and midday showers on Monday, drying off late day. 53 on Tuesday, a spotty sprinkle mostly early and another chance for a sprinkle on Wednesday. Not a lot of rain the next week. Nicole?